tukuka milele amina uga wewe ni bwana juu ya mabwana uga ufambe Shalabadis Rembagada Shakari Varadish Parande Katos Garidi Pradesh Arabadish Prokoto Magande Barikata Bredish Arabish O God, O God, Wewe Nibana Juya Mabana Ufambeoku wadumu milele wewe ni bwana ali magande la ba zumburgo di sharada bi pare magade sharada basaya progodo magare gari dari la ganda ligarish Regi da gado sa di gari gari da lia. Ooh, wewe ni buwan. Juya mabuwan. Ufambe wako. Adumu mile. Milele Amina Umetukuka Tuakue shimu Hakuna mwingine Kama wewe Wewe ni mungu Baba yangu Tuaku inuwa, tuaku abudu. Una weza mambo yote, wewe mumi nifu. Kuru magai, kuru mau, kuru man kosi. Kulumani mamele, kuruman go see us, big Lord. Kuruma, kuruma, mama, mama, bali, bali, bali. Kuluman go see Father, we bless your name. Oh, 
Hey, you are great and greatly to be praised. The anointing of the Lord is too much tonight. The Lord wants to speak to us and may the Lord make you to be a partaker of the meat that he is giving us tonight. Don't watch alone. Invite somebody. Share. Let someone be with us and learn the word of his grace. Learn the word of his grace with us. I welcome each one of us. The anointing of the Lord is here. The anointing of the Lord is upon us. The anointing of the Lord is in us. For the Bible says that he anointed my head. My cup runneth over. So I'm giving you what is overflowing from the inside. Because the Lord has has anointed me. He anoints my head. My cup runneth over. That is Psalms 23 verses 5. He anoints, 23 verses 5. He anoints my head. My cup runneth over. Today we are learning. Today it's Bible, Bible. Today is Bible. Get your Bible ready. Get your book. Get a pen. Today it's gonna be Bible, Bible, Bible. The word, the word, the word, the word, the word. And I'll show you why the word, the word, the word, the word. So we are here tonight. The Holy Spirit is just about to speak to us. The Holy Spirit wants to talk to us. The Holy Spirit is just about to tell us the mind of God because the Bible says in the book of 1 John 2 27 that you shall not require teachers you shall be taught by the anointing the anointing is here the anointing is teaching us now the Bible says in 1 John 2 verses 20 that the, we have received anointing from the Holy One we have the ancient to function the grace is here the anointing is here the ancient oh God I feel anointing the anointing is is feelable, anointing is feelable, and may the Lord, the Bible says in Isaiah 10 verses 20, 27, and the anointing shall break yokes from their shoulders, from their, from their shoulders and from their necks. I declare that every yoke, every burden is broken tonight. Hindrances and obstacles of receiving the word of God with joy, they fall under this anointing. Nothing can withstand this anointing. It is of God. It is from God. It, it, nothing can fight. Nothing can stop this grace. So karibuni usiku wa leo tunaingia kwa masomo tunaingia kwa masomo karibu pastor Mwai my fellow laborer we have to talk the bible way my 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 my, my fellow laborer my yoke fellow my yoke fellow hmm? my, my what my fellow laborer the, the board servant board servant of the lord Gobo. Baba ya mwa dunia tu Jesu Kristo. So karibuni, I can see since I'm getting in for learning. Be set, be set. Usikuwa wakuchungulia. Great people, I always say they learn. You can't learn just by looking. You learn by staying. You learn by staying. Because even as you listen, even as you listen, there is um, there is impartation. So tonight we are learning why the word pastor. Mm-hmm. That's our topic. I think I've just oh. I have just typed oh. word oh. word the biggest secret mm-hmm. of unleashing eternity. Amen. Oh, I feel anointing. Amen. Oh God, mm-hmm. word the biggest secret mm-hmm. of unleashing of unleashing mm-hmm. eternal life of activating. Mm-hmm. It's true we have eternal life. Oh God, oh God. It is true we have eternity. Ecclesiastes 3, uh, verse 11. 11 verses, 11 verses 3. 11 verses 3, Karori, are you confirming the scriptures? The the Lord has, has placed eternity in the hearts of men. The Lord has placed eternity in the hearts of men. The Lord has given us eternal life. How do we live it? How do we come out of the normal? How do we come out of the ordinary? How do we stop living like normal being? What the Bible says in Second Peter 1 verse 3, that we have become partakers of the divine nature. How do we activate divine nature? You know, tonight I was, somebody has just called me, and in the dialogue, can you stop it at that? And I tell you, we see mutu mutu. You know, mutu plus mutu ni shetani. You want to be carnal, that's why you say mutu. 
mutu ni mutu tu so it has become a topic and i will teach one day where we see mutu mutu you know when you hear people saying modo no modo modo no modo ni ahio kagirwa modo no modo ni oragwa ndi hinya oh you are not a modo modo when christ gets into your spirit when christ gets in your spirit you cease from being man man because man man in yule alizaliwa na mama yako na baba yako but after being born again man man is the first creation second creation doesn't give birth to men it gives man to divine people it gives birth to divine people it gave birth to gods it gave birth to priests it gave birth to something that has never existed oh god it gives birth to a new creation so we have received eternal life in our spirit how do we unleash this life how do we make it our experience have you seen that god has placed eternity in the hearts of men you have to master scriptures where is it yes 3:11 Ecclesiastes 3:11 God has placed eternity in the hearts of men 1st John 5:11 We have received the life of Jesus what are you doing with that life are you living it 1st John 5:13 We have received eternal life 1st John 5:20 We have received eternal life Romans chapter 6 the line verse we have eternal life John 3:15 We have eternal life John 3:16 We have eternal life Romans 8 verse 2 we have the spirit of life what are you doing with this life has it become your experience has it become is it, are you using this life is this life working for you really is this life helping you is this life helping you to solve your daily issues is this life becoming you like wo unagojeka tu una activate this life and mambo na madawa na nini inaenda tu is it a life that you can use and reverse evil dreams eternal life tumepokea eternal life we have received eternal life after salvation we have received the life of christ the life of christ is in your spirit how do we make it an experience how do we make it our day to day activity how do we plan our lives based on eternal not from the outside but from the inside this is the kind of life i say that makes you like corona inakuja inapita tu when this one you are conscious of this life this is the life that makes you to kuagara na maudu ama mambo inakuja tu ina Peter this is the kind of life unaskianga kumepata accident ukatoka mzima mzima this is the kind of life that we 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 we, we you know we unleash we activate and live a victorious life Amen. so uh oh god tutasoma hiyo ya adam madrin tutasoma hiyo ya adam wa kwanza na wa pili one day maybe next week i will have a series on first remind me in case i i forgot in my whatsapp you have my number unikubusha nifunze first adam bad and second adam bad i feel holy ghost receive the touch of the lord Amen. so this word is power you yes. know that this word is power wow. so tonight i was giving an an introduction of what we're going to be learning tonight we are learning how to how to unleash the eternal life in us la tujaokoka ndio alafu twende tukafurai binguni tumeokolewa tukae hapa tufurai the bible says that we have been made we, we have been made normal noble we have been made loyal why pastor to declare nakarabaga shata kabazaka woko sia la gadesh ready magadaske parakatos we have been made we have been made kings first peter 29 we you we are a chosen i am a chosen generation i am a royal priesthood why to, to declare the excellencies of god how do you declare the excellencies of god when you're just normal who oh, who oh. where how do you declare the excellence of the lord how, when you cannot taste the sweetness of the ages to come you should taste the sweetness of the ages to come it is in the book of hebrews hey ay 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 you should taste this fire you should taste that sweetness of the age to come yes. so it, it, it the, 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 the 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 word the word of god is what we are going to learn tonight yes. as a main key that makes us to connect with this eternity so while one ingia sai you will retrieve for introduction you will see how introduction was like so why is it that uh, believers are just living normally and you know after the done work of the cross it is because of not understanding what 
has entered into their hearts, into their spirit. And so tonight, we are learning the supremacy of the word as a key to unleash. Unajua eternal life ni gift. Lazima we unlock. Lazima we unleash. Lazima we activate so that it will be your experience here and now. Here and now. The life that will bring money into your pocket bila kudaganywa. Eternal life Eternal life in a at the advantage over evil altars. Yes. Because if you don't understand this, you will always be breaking evil altars. Mm. Evil men will take advantage of you. Vujia madabau, vujia madabau will be the order of the day if you don't learn. And so, word, word is so powerful. Word is so powerful. We are doing a thorough study of the word. And this is a series that will be continuing. Word is a very powerful thing for a believer to have to, to have give me colossians 3:16 oh yes lord and 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 and, and, uh, and um, proverbs 4:23 Proverbs 4.23. Wewe uko online, leo ni siku ya Bible, kuwa na Bible hapo, type Bible hapa, leo ni Bible, Bible tupu hapa ni maandiko, maandiko. Believer amezaliwa na neno, so leo tunasoma neno. Colossians 3 verse 16, Colossians 3 verse 16, connection. Colossians 3 verse 16, Colossians 3 verse 16. Word is a secret, word is a secret in unlocking, in unleashing. Eternity, because the Ecclesiastes 3.11 says, God has placed eternity in the hearts of men. Colossians 3 verse 16, ukai hapa usome neno, indi ofugua ya maisha yako. This is what that will make you stop wandering from one church to the other. This will stop you being a church hopper. This will make you not to, to, to be tossed to and fro. Anybody who have seen the word is settled. Amen. Anybody who has seen the word is settled. Amen. Anybody who has not seen the word is not settled. Hata hiyo imani unasikia kiconfess hata you lose to aina substance. Oh God, the Bible says in Colossians 3:16, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Singing with the singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. I am interested with 16a. Let the word of God dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Proverbs 4:23. Let fill your heart with all diligence. This is the word of God. Fill your heart with all diligence, for from it comes the issues of life. The word of God since the the ancient days has been known to carry a lot of power. Anybody that God cre- uh, called, give me, give me uh, Ezekiel 3. Give me Ezekiel chapter 3. The word of God has been known to carry a lot of power. The word of God has been known to represent God. And if you want to be successful, if you need to be victorious, learn God. You know, the Bible says that Moses learned the ways of the Lord. So I'm giving you one secret. Word is a big secret. Why? Because God himself has, has given it to men, Pastor. God has given it to men. I, I feel to Kusalimia. God has given it to men himself. If you want to know God, check him in his deeds. If you want to know God, muagalie na matedo yake. Mugu wako kwa matedo yake. If you want to learn the ways of God, if you learn to, to if you want to, to, to get secrets, though they are secrets that causes men to, 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 to live successfully, victoriously, and happily, check him. Check, check his operation. One thing you realize is that any person God called, he gave them the word. Why? Jesus' name, stay here at our word. So if you want to. If you want to to know God, check how he operated. Mwangalie na vile alikuwa na operate. One thing you realize with God, he, the Bible says that God has exalted his word above his name. Nipatie Ezekiel 3, 3. One, number one. Leo hata tuko na notebook. Nab, oh yeah. Oh, the word is just burning me. The word is just so hot for me tonight. You know, ikitaka kujua mungu, musach, 
mwangalie mtafute katika matendo yake na operation yake hata kupitia men of the old the ancient men ma generals ma commander wa kitambo you realize Ezekiel the the god himself number one. we are writing tonight number one. somebody is typing number one. any man that god called oh, yeah, yeah. before he could set them he would give them the word why the word the word is exalted why the word you could you know, some people even would say the word is so sweet it's like honey anybody that god created anybody that god called anybody that god sent he gave them the word if you are to be sent if you are to be used of god mightily you have to be full of diligence proverbs 4:23 dio silemewe na huduma dio silemewe na ima mapepo inakuja kukuuliza why are you preaching huku nyumbani kwetu hakunaga mapasta be full of the word jizalishe kwa neno wetu kaniogo takachubali mix kuogo kiogo ini ni corporate you save your body your mind your soul with the word character of god any man that god call before he would said he would give them the word Yes. Ezekiel chapter 3 verses 3 I feel the sweetness of the word Oh my god moreover he said son of man eat thou thy fightest eat this lord and go speak unto the house of Israel God could not say any man Woo. without the word we are learning the character or we can see the character of God by what he did He has exalted his word. He has exalted his word. God goes by his word. He does nothing without the word. He will not say you without the word. In a man that God called, he fast himself. Because Christ had not been revealed. He did the duty. He ensured that through his angels he has supplied. He has supplied those that he sent with the word. He told Ezekiel chapter 3 eat this lord and go and speak the bible says verses 2 so i opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that lord ezekiel is being fed by god ezekiel anapewa neno na mungu mwenyewe kwa nini mungu asimtume mikono mtupu na nie anamuogelesha pastor god and his word God and his word you will not separate God and his word yeah you go to be a saint of the word you cannot separate God and his word bona anapea Ezekiel neno kwanza bona asiende akaongee kwa kinywa cha Ezekiel kwa nini anampatia neno kwanza god if you want to know god check him check his dealings with men men of the old men of the ancient He would not do anything. He would not deal with anything. He would not even do anything before he announced it. He would always speak. Ezekiel 3 verses 3. And God he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat. Fill thy bowels with this Lord. Feel feeling. Feeling, feeling. Feeling does not mean align. Feeling does not mean have a line of the word. Oh God, I understand this is Bible. I'm reading the Bible. Even a comma is such a voice in the realm in the Bible. Feeling be filled of the word. Be filled of the word. Colossians 3 verse 16. Colossians 3 verse 16. Colossians 3 verse 16. You got to have your word dwelling in you richly please note in all wisdom usijue mungu elia moja in all wisdom richly not a line richly 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 there's a secret the bible says he didn't give give ezekiel a portion magadish magalish magadish he gave ezekiel a, 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 a scroll that filled his belly and he said unto me son of man cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that i give thee yes. then did i eat and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness 
any man that God called, he first gave them the word. Nitole Joshua 1 verses 9. God himself. Unataka kujua sili za mungu. Mutizame kwa matendo yake. Mutafute kwa matendo yake. Angalia vile anafanya kazi na watu. Angalia dealings zake na watu. God and his word, you can't separate him. Where God is, his word is. Where God is, his word is. Hakuwabia Ezekiel enda nitaongea na kinywa chako. Alimpatia neno kwanza. Na sio neno. Na sio portion. Alijaza tubo yake na neno. He filled the word. He filled the belly with the word. He filled the belly with the word. Any man that God called, he first gave them the word. You got to be a saint of the word. We look at another example of man of the ancient Joshua chapter 1 and verses 9. Joshua chapter 1, uh, is it verses 9? Is it verses 9? It verses, verses 8. Is it verses 8? Oh God, mungu na neno. Wezi, wezi separate mungu na neno. Yeyote alie itwa na mungu, aliumpatia neno kwanza. Alie itwa na mungu, ali, ali, alipewa neno kwanza. Tuone mtu mwingine, tumeona Ezekiel, alipo itwa na mungu, alipewa neno. Aliwe, aliwe neno, neno kwa tubo likaja. Kisha akaambiwa nenda sasa kwa wana wa Israeli ni na kutuma na utapata wao ni vichwa ngumu lakini nitakufanya kichwa ngumu kuliko wao. Mungu alitayalisha aliye mtuma kwa neno. Hiyo ni siri. We are learning the character of God through how he dealt with the men of the old. Number two, uh, the other person whom God called and first gave the word before sending them is Jeremiah 1 verses 9. Then the Lord put for this had and touched my mouth and the Lord said unto me then the Lord put forth his hand we are in Jeremiah 1 and verses 9 then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth and the Lord said to me behold I have put my words in your mouth any person that God sent he first gave them the, uh, the word see I have this day set you over nations before God gave them an assignment Assignment, he would give them the word before God gave them an assignment. He would give them the word before God sends you. He gives you the word before you work and bring success. Be full of the word. The Bible says in Joshua 1 verses 8, the word will bring great success. The word will bring great success. Jo, jo, uh, I mean, James 1 25, when you look at the law of liberty, you will be blessed in all that you do. What is the topic? Leo ni, ni Chelewa, Mary Wajilo, Leo tunasoma supremacy of the word, kutumia neno, kutoa ile kitu mungu ameweka ndani yetu na ili tufanyie kazi. Na tunaangalia jia tofauti tofauti ambazo zinaonyeshana ya kwamba ji, neno la mungu ni, li, li meinuliwa na mungu anafanya kazi kupitia neno lake na ma, mambo mengine ambayo utayasikia ukika hapa. Usijari, just stay here. You will catch up. Welcome. And yes. Welcome. So we are looking at now Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 1, Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 9. Tumeangalia Ezekiel 3, 3. Tunaangalia siri za Mungu kupitia vile alijidhihirisha na wana wa, wa kale. Naona Ezekiel kwanza anapewa neno because we don't want to live a life of defeat. We lazima tujue siri ni gani. Nimeokoka pasta. Kwa nini na shida shidwa hivi? Kwa nini nalemewa lemewa? Kwa nini magojo haini haini obey? Be full of the word. Not a line. Be full of the word. Ezekiel was not given a portion of the scroll. He was given a scroll that he ate to the fullest. Uh, Proverbs 4.23 Fill your heart with all diligence. Colossians 3.16 Colossians 3.16 Be full of the richery. Mm. Have the word of God richly in all wisdom. Jeremiah 1 and verses 9. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my word in your mouth. Before God sent Jeremiah, he gave him, he gave him the word. He put the word in the mouth. He put the word 
in the mouth he put the word in the mouth Mungu aliweka Jeremiah neno kwa kinywa chake kisha akamwambia sasa nakutuma sasa nakutuma umekula neno umejaa neno sasa nakutuma sasa nakutuma Mungu hajatuita na ili tukamalizikie kwa vita gaida tuwetete to the dead bara in the pasta preparation is key be full of the word God has taken me through a season a season a season of giving putting this word I'm a living testimony I'm a living testimony the word you hear me quoting here is the word that God has put in my belly through his spirit in those days he would personally he would send an angel he would send an angel but now he gives us by his spirit then he sends you when he said you out i a crash kwa dege tunaenda kuhubiri alafu gari ina dege inapigirika pigirika tunachomeka hapo na mafuta na na gasoline it will not happen the word God will just activate eternal life in you and you be safe and sound before God sends you before God uses you he fills you with the word now he is it's your responsibility because the helper now is right inside you you got to go for the word you got to take the word be intentional you have to eat it you have to the, the hardship the hardships that comes your way ni, 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 ni lift ni kama lift wewe unaingiaga kwa kwa nyumba kubwa unaingia kwa lift ikuspeedishe kwa believer magumu ambayo inakujaga kwa maisha yako ni lift oga oh it's a time to eat the word it's a shortcut for you to know god problems sufferings is a shortcut for you to know god those problems those pains those backic hiyo hiyo kibaden iko hapo ugro nayo ni ya kukusaidia ku grow how else can you grow how else can you grow you can only grow by that pain in the back ache. as you address it pain is as you address the pain in the back what is getting into the belly as you address the headache what is getting into the belly as you address your limitation as you address your kukwama kwama una address na neno you know the science the mathematics is that as you are using the word it's getting into your belly it will never come out of you ikisha ingia ingia ikisha kuform ime kuform the, the, you know problems pain suffering is, is is just a lift to make you grow proper but boy you have it hiyo inaona kasai iko hapo kasai iko hiyo kasai iko ni ya kukusaidia kupata ma scripture oh god oh god oh god gani ya bora gadi ya dirishia ke korea redet wale watu mungu wanawapenda na wafunulia siri zake hey, 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 hey. I got the word through pains thank god for my pains my whole body was on fire sometimes i could not even breastfeed my child the pain was too much pastor the pain would be too much you are crying pain pain stop crying pain pain address the pain with the word the lord has allowed it oh yeah 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 ah yeah 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 oh god oh god the, the lord has allowed the pains so that you can know him it is through those pains that you will know him una kwama kwama na vitu zingine haziada not that god is like god is good god is good he want the best for you as as you use the word to address that situation you will have known him you will have eaten the scroll oh the scroll will be too much in your belly i remember the pains would be too much my pastor is a witness here we journeyed together the journey of faith we journeyed together we would use the word to address situations tumolo tunazipata pale tunaogezea ma scripture tunafikiria pengine hatujapata ile tunaleta ingine I glorify God. This is why I'm talking to you full of the word. It's in my belly. It's not in my mind. It's in my belly. I have eaten it. It has worked for me. I've been sent. I've not been sent to you empty. I've been sent to you with the living word of the Lord. Sometimes it would be too tough for me. I remember those yale tumepitia ni kwa ushuhud. I thank God for my fires. Kama kuna wakati neno linaweza una kama hutapata neno wakati wa magumu sijui utalipata lini Ujui, Mungu ukiona magumu imekuja kwako na we ni mwana wa Mungu umependwa na Mungu sana haya 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 hey, 
that's no god that's no god ukiona kukwama kwa maisha shukuru mungu hiyo ni ya kukusaidia that one is just a lift a lift to know god i remember uh, sometimes i would try to breastfeed my child she was just few months old nilikuwa najaribu mikono yangu ilikuwa kama mawe nilikuwa na support sometimes ni game support na miguu ama nashikiliwa na, na, na nimunyonyeshe i was there breastfeeding my child a lot of pain in my body but i was looking at the word mm-hmm. i was still looking at the word yeah. i was still looking at the word and the word grew my train me and the word preve- prevailed the bible says uh, the word grew my train in the city of ephesus uh, and the word prevailed wakati neno litakuwa lita prevail when the word grows it shall prevail it has not yet prevailed it's still growing it has not yet prevailed in your situation it is still growing be patient trust the process apply the word use the word talk the word speak the word talk the word speak the word i went through a very hard season a very trying season i was using the word until i thought could be there is another formula the holy spirit told me what is written is true this is still the formula i looked at the word i beheld the word i spoke the word i confessed the word day in day out situations were not responding situations would become harder but i was growing i was growing oh god i feel grace receive the grace to solve and to walk through that fire by the word you 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 will not be the the person who entered into the fire if you win by the word the last product the last product will be refined the product of fire knows the word the product of fire is refined the word was growing i was addressing situations situations became harder situations looked at me nikifikilia ni mabega inaenda kwa miguu nikifikilia ni miguu vitu zinaanza kutebea kwa kichwa changu i could not see what was working on my hairs sometimes castrad canyuel out here something suspended i went through real fire like i don't tell you what i've not used i it, the, what wax what wax eh doesn't matter whether shetani mwenyewe amejitoa hell against you the word the word the word the word is a formula is a big secret the word is a big secret that i can never give you freely so the word when the word was growing when the word was growing the word prevailed in a person that god sends he fills them with the word the formula is in the fire the formula is through trials turn around those trials let it be your university hallelujah saints hallelujah 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 hiyo kutopata bwana ni university jana neno ogea ogea mungu aje kukosea bwana mahali ogea ogea don't give up don't give in don't give up don't give in mungu hakuuba aliabia noa waigia wawili wawili waigia wawili wawili waigia wawili wawili hey, speak the word the word will grow the word will grow the word will grow in you and we are prevail oh yeah, yeah 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 can i see the scripture the word grew and prevailed in the church of ephesus the word grew and prevailed hiyo hali yako inataka u grow kwa neno your trial is your university that is the formula in this kingdom your trial is your university it's not like oh inani ari ni roga uli roga na nani you know uh, what do i say di di what di di saturate di kama umerogwa basi na wewe di saturate u neutralize di saturate kama ni kurogwa basi di saturate na neno u neutralize hiyo uchawi ja neno ja neno ja neno hiyo trial dio university yako if you understand your trial and 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 put the, the 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 right mindset put the right mindset your trial is your university i'm getting this revelation if you are not if it were not for my pains i wouldn't be talking to you this is not who i was before the trials in the product of trial knows, knows god the product of fire knows god like intimately like intimately intimately the, the bible says in acts 19 verses 20 so might grew the word of god and prevailed 
Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. So might we grow the word of God and prevail. So might we grow the word of God and prevail. Your trial is your university. You get the word. Go into the word. Speak the word. We said the other day is a kingdom of talkers. You got to talk your way out. You are not empty words. You are talking the Bible. You are talking the Bible. You are walking the Bible. You are speaking the Bible. You are looking at a line. Unaangalia kalaini. Unaangalia kalaini. Isaiah 28 verse, verse, verse 10. You are looking at a line. Line upon a line. Precept upon a precept. Here a little. A little there. And as the word glows, it will prevail. And as the word glows, it will prevail. As the word grows, it will prevail. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Word, word. When you in in an English, do you happy? Hallelujah. Any man that God sent, he would fill them with the word first. How is God filling us today? He is allowing trials. He is allowing trials. We have seen Ezekiel 3, 3. God filled. Not a line. Be full of the word. Colossians 3, 16. Be full of the word. Uh, Proverbs 4, 23. Be full of the word. Ezekiel was Full of the word. Jeremiah was given a word to it. Give us another person who was to have the word first. Ndiyo mwana unaona pastor salvation inaeza ka vingine. Watu wa sipotumia. Angalia mugu pastor. Usiseme ni me. Nesikia ni teda ulaya. Napata international license. Visa. Nataka international visa. Nina. What? Stay in the preparation room. Goja, goja upikwe. Goja upikwe. Mungu anataka kutuma kitu kimeiva. Nitole jo, Joshua. Joshua 1 verse 8. Unataka kujua siri za kingdom. Search mungu kwa maandiku. Aja jificha. Nangalia dealings zake na watu. Oh ya kurima. Kala gadi. Kala gadi. Yes ya hasika. Rika skahi. Sahi. Joshua 1 verses 8. This book of the law shall not depart. Who bigger and this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Thou may observe to do according to all that is written there. I feel the word. The word is too hot in my stomach. Too hot. Yes, Lord. For then shall make thy way prosperous, and then shall have good success before God sets you. He packages you with the word. God has not called you. When they come kwa battlefield, atatukuzu wa nanani. Daudi akauliza mungu. Nikikufa utasifi wa nanani. Okirine gotiri yogoshi. Kaburini amuna sifa. Let God cook you. He must guess. Oh God. Another man. Another man here was sent by God. John, John, John in the well of Patimos. Kuna mtu mingine hapa anatumwa na mungu. Kwanza anajazwa na neno. Anajazwa na neno. Na watu walikuwa wanaskula neno wanasema ili neno ni asali. Ni asali, ili ni type for me, Psalms 119.103, Psalms 119.103, type for me there, so, type for me, leo ni neno, 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 kukula neno, tunaunkia neno, hapa hakuna maneno, hakuna ma story, ma story haina, haina power, devil fears the, he can't stand the word. He's shaking you to lose the word. Oh God. Oh God, we are looking at the word. Character ya mungu kwanza tumeyona kupitia vile alikuwa ye mwenyewe. Mungu mwenyewe anakupea neno in a form of scroll. Ezekiel anayekwa kwa mdomo. Pap. Jeremiah anayekwa kwa mdomo. Pap. Joshua anabiwa newewe hii ukule. Kula. Istoke kwa kinyo chako. Usiku na mchana. Bigaria. That is what will make you prosperous. Not what you are feeling. Empty words. Empty. Empty statements will not make you prosperous. 
prosperity is inside out. Can I have the word? Revelation 10. Revelation 10. Revelation 10. Give me Revelation 10. I'll get the line for myself. Yes. I, 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 uh, how sweet. I also want 19 verse 10. Psalms 119 verses 103. How sweet are thy words unto my taste. Mm, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when you exercise yourself to the word of righteousness, like now I'm feeling it in my mouth. Ah, God is real. 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 These things that are written here are real, tangible. Mm, we don't speak, we speak things that we have seen, things that we have heard, things that we have heard out. Mm, God is real. Mm, God is real. God is real. Someone has a reality. Oh God, oh God, oh God. How sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yeah, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Psalms, Psalms 19 verses 10. I'm looking now for Psalms 19 verses 10. Allah fukisha James Great in Takufukuza. Psalms 19 verses 10. I've seen you posting first John 1 1. I want first, I want Psalms 19 verses 10. I'll mute you if you don't follow instructions. Psalms 19 verses 10. Then we are going to Revelation 10 verses but Liberation 10, Liberation 10, verses 8, verses 8. Mungu yeyote alie mtuma, alimjaza na neno, alimjaza na neno. Mungu waja kuita hati ukagalagali yona huduma hati mpaka ikaya kama haibu. Paka ukiona pasta unambiwa, wewe ukona mwito wa pasta. Una... Psalms 19, verses 10. More to be desired are they than gold. What? Yeah, than much fine gold. Yes. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. And don't miss the teaching on Saturday. Mm. Don't miss. You need something on Saturday. Please, I invite you sat- Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, I teach you something, a secret about faith. Faith and shaking. Imani yenye ina uwezi yezi shake. Imani ya yezi shake. What's the big secret? Tupatane hapa Saturday. Sa ileo iyo sita unlock leo. Iyo nigea Saturday. We uko hapa Saturday. Saturday, krrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
akwambie yeah i come it is so it open your mouth wide it it and then ngong 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 akupata asubuhi asubuhi kabaisha sio hivyo sasa uko na indwelling god uko na holy spirit uko na helper uko na grace grace ni uweza wako wa kuchukua bible mwenyewe usome as you are reading you are eating and the bible is telling us not to eat alone we eat until we are full until ukifanya Revelation 8 verse 10 verses 8 and the voice which i heard from heaven spoke unto me again and said go and take the little book which is open in the heart of the angel which studied upon the sea and upon the earth and i went unto the angel and said unto him give me the little book give me the little book and he said unto me take it eh uni john take it eat it why is god telling people to eat the word he's telling ezekiel he's telling jeremiah kwa si Mungu wako na uwezo wa kufanya mambo makubwa hata kabla wamekula neno my son James na nini Mungu anawaambia wakule kwa nini eh, soma Mungu na matendo yake uka usikash ukatae principle za Mungu tu yaoni perio God has not called you to know him the way you think he has called you to know him the way he is teaching you the anointing shall teach you through his dealings ni bila unapeangwa hint jijazie mwenyewe god is in his word and not a line full line upon line precept upon precept a little here rare he is telling john eat take it eat it up and shall make thy belly bitter hapa in god in the can but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey and i took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up and it was in my mouth sweet as honey and as soon as i had eaten it my belly was bitter i am saying you are struggling with some situation some cycles some situations are not responding no god his way no god his way No God his way no God his way you know you kuna watu intentionally pastor ni realize hata kwa ministry they insist on not knowing God you know how God hates ignorance God is not for ignorance he is speaking and then you still think there are other formulas that you will use utazunguka huyo ni Mungu mwenyewe with his sovereignty anatoka biguni anapea wale aliwaita yeye mwenyewe scroll and you think you will make it without the scroll you think you make it without the word you think you be sleeping empty minded empty nitakuonyesha don't miss these teachings i'll show you the power of the word to the mind the, 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 how to even control your dreams through knowledge of the word you just win by learning not like deliverance kila wakati toa mapepo na ukitaka ni sawa hiyo anointing hata nimepewa but there is another better way there is a better way you know you grow when i was a babe i thought like a babe i talk like a babe but when i'm of age now i can behave in a better way ozagaska hish reposkaya usitake kujua mungu vile unafikiria mjue vile ameji display amejionyeshana kwetu na ezekiel anampea yeye jeremiah anampea joshua anampea huyu ni John New Testament Revelation ikoguleliyo ikomi ikomi alakira Jovagas ana anapea John anamwambia take it God has not dealt with men who have no word usipokuwa na neno utaibika utateswa na mapepo utaota doto hii usiku huu ilijirudia ile ingine mwezi and then you there like sijuangi i don't know kuna hii doto na otanga every time you will dream that dream every time until your head has get something until your soul gets something that will be, when the day, the day the soul gets something that will be you will know because you will not see the dream again that's how we in 
<sighs> yeah, I mean, too hot for me. There's how we win these battles. Mm. If you want to come out of that cycle, let that demon that usually manipulate your rear and fight something. Usijali, itakuja wana imekuja na kawaiti kidogo. Continue, continue, continue. God has already manifested himself. Oh, Jubagash. Number two. I'm going to number two. And probably I will add with this one. Because I know that it's a name. Na 14. Kifika sane. Sane. You know, the word of God is so powerful. You can't speak it because it will affect. And especially when you are exercising yourself with, with the word. God has not sent anybody. As I sum up that point. God has not sent anybody without the word. Yeyote ambaye Mungu ametuma amemweka neno kwanza. If you don't want struggles and frustrations in the ministry, if you don't want demons to misbehave around your realms every year by year, be full of the word, not a lie. Full of the word. Nimesema ubel chineno. You eat the word until until hakuna kitu kingine. Hakuna kitu kingine inatoka ndani yako. Ezekiel was filled with the word. Jeremiah was filled with the word. Joshua was filled with the word. John in the well of Patmos is being given a little book revelation 10 take that little book the angel tells him eat and it will be in your mouth as sweet honey number 2 unleashing eternal life by the secret of using the word of god number 2 god told jeremiah jeremiah nitore jeremiah ako api jeremiah nitore u jeremiah Jeremiah 1 verses 12, very fast. Jeremiah 1 verses 12. Jeremiah 1 verses 12. Leo ni kitabu kalamu na Bible. Jeremiah 1 verses 12. Jeremiah 1 verses 12. Ile le ni tunasoma ya pili ni kwamba God only performs his word. God only performs his word. Number 12. You have the word. Eyo komoku. Shogaska. As long as the word is present, uh-huh. performance is coming. <laughs> if the word is there, performance is on the way. Performance is on the way. If the word is there, performance is coming. Don't you worry. Don't you worry ni mwaka watatu bado unaitisha mtoto. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, fruitfulness is of the kingdom. It's not a, a wrong prayer that you're praying. No, 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 no. As long as the word is there, as the word, as long as you are eating the word, as long as you are eating the word, the word is growing. The word is growing. The word will prevail. The word is growing. Nilegeshe yo ya prevailing. The word prevailing. The word grew mighty and prevailed. The word grew mighty. <laughs> Ooh. As long as the word is there, usijue Mungu na vile unafikiria. Jua Mungu na vile amejionyesha. Mungu wenyewe una ne. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dirishio da makio tole ya negere. Dirishio da makio tole ya gurerie. Dirishio da makio tole ya negere. If I can give you my testimony, just listen to what I'm telling you. This is not from a carnal mind. It's not from a carnal mind. I speak things that I've seen, things that I've heard, and things that I've heard. Oh, Magoria begezaga ya suri ga ya 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 ya. So my tree, Acts 19 verses 20. So my tree grew the word of God and prevailed. Ooh, guy. That is not enough. Hii najua Mungu yuko. Mimi sina ga shida. Mimi I sina believe, na believe. No. Wewe mkupea siri. 
So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. Jeremiah 1 verses 12. Are you there? Are you there? Indio tunasoma. Jeremiah 1 verses 12. Jeremiah 1 verses 12. Jeremiah 1 verses 12. The Bible says, Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast seen well, for I will hasten my word to perform it. Kwanza mungu aliuliza Jeremiah verses 11. The word of the Lord came unto me saying, Jeremiah, what are you seeing? And I said, I'm seeing a rod of an almond tree. Na ya mungu wakamuambi, akika, you have seen well, for I will hasten my word to perform it. Pastor nataka ile version inasema, karodi James, type here. Ukona, ukona version yako, type maguskia, maguskia. Type for me, Jeremiah 1 verses 12. Type for me, Jeremiah 1 verses 12. Type for me, Jeremiah 1 verses 12. Jeremiah 1 verses 12. Another version. Kwanza yule akona, I'm watching, I'm watching over my word to perform it. Ataka your version very fast, very fast. Post in your ukonayo. I'm waiting for these scriptures. Jeremiah 1 verses 12. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Imani, I can see you. I'm waiting your version. Ile tu ukonayo. Iweke hapo. Lucy, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> yes, Lucy Paul, now she calls it. Lucy calls it. You will post them by a good apple, be a rusa. Lucy calls it. Jeremiah 1 verses 12. Then said, said the Lord to me, You have seen well, for I am ready to perform my word. Sitaki he. Then, yes, get gasha. Uh, then said the Lord unto me, Thou have, have seen well, for I will hasten my word to perform it. I stuck here, bado. Una ile nataka. Una ile nataka. James, you can't miss it. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou has, we, have, has seen well, for I will hasten my word to perform it. I will hasten my word to perform it. Now see, Ebu, Pastor, you're shaking this table. Hmm? Mm, it's the same doing the broadcast. Eh, are you there? Are you there? Usitoke hapa ni kuonyeshe vile neno mungu wana perform neno lake. Palipo na neno performance hiko. Sita kifeze kari, can't you type? type. I, umeweka hapa dani? Ume, uh, yeah, good. Yes, has it. Which, which version is this one? Amplified version. Then say the Lord to me. Then say the Lord to me. Then said the Lord to me, I was also, I was also now getting it for myself. Nilikuwa na eda Bible study, study, study tools. And ipata. Then the Lord said to me, you have seen it correctly, for I'm watching to see that word is, inayo metoa sana, wacha niachane na yocha disome hii. Then said the Lord to me, you have seen well, for I am alert, here, inayo, for I am alert and active. Watch it. Yeah. Somebody, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody, hallelujah. Somebody, hallelujah. Then said the Lord to me, you have seen well, for I am alert and active, watching over my word to perform it. Where the word of the Lord is pastor. Can I tell you, Pastor? Ni kupe secret. You want to advance? I'm going to take a yako. Unataka ku advance. Unataka ku advance by by knowledge. You know the Bible says the word that I always quote. Is it um the grace and peace be multiplied according to knowledge? Grace and peace be multiplied. James, where is that word? Very fast. Grace, you get it. Can you make your real acquit? Gehira, you turn around and you more than you turn around and you go to many at the day. More than you are taking away that. How? What are the daily? Is you more than you? Niki, what when kind of one I look at when kind of how I look? What is a big secret? Mutu anape wa teritole muzi ma webe ata uja okupa ata village yenu bado ma pepe ya village na kupiga. What is the big secret? Do thou show more than you? Kejori at the Jeremiah. Neke orona, nani yege shoki ya tere, nederona roho ogaru wa moto wa amorothi. Umeweka kubwa sana, deona moto wa amorothi. Twelve, mwadhani ya kejera ya tere, neona wega, niodo, jetere ide kuona uge wakwa oke higa. Then said the Lord unto me, thou hast seen well, for I will hasten my word to perform it. As lo- Let me tell you, pastor, the greatest battle, what is called the battle of faith. The greatest battle is for you to lose the word. 
Because if the word is not in place, no performance. The secret of God is in his word. I'm giving you the secret. The Bible says, Moses knew my ways. Moses knew my ways. Israel, misbehave. Moses knew my ways. They will go then get ready. They get on go then yet. Then you need to hurry away. Kagarata kuwe. Mahidora geria idambe kome yet. Yarwa shia shia de. God will not give you things. He gives you secret. You use that key to unlock where those things are. That's, that's how God operates. He gives you a key, open, and uchukwe vitu. Kama una key, uta ingie yoka room. These are rooms that are accessed by key. Knowledge. Knowledge is the key. The battle that you go through every day, because devil is an opposer. Devil is an opposer. In the heaven, vita ilitokea poa. Revelation 12. He wanted to kill the child. He wanted to kill the child. Devil is an opposer. He is waging battles daily so that you go lose your faith. He's, 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 he's making you to doubt. I tell you, second Peter, unasemanga hapo kama maji uyatilie tu. Ukuru musikili. He wants you to lose the word. He wants you to be without the word because he knows. Chetani anajua. Aliabia Yesu. Look for. It is written. The devil knows. Shetan ya sijue mabwa ya mugu wa ukashidwa kumujua. We mteule. We saint. Anataka ukae bila neno. Ukikaa bila neno utazunguka. Wana wa Israeli wakambi wana mungu. You've stayed in this mountain for so long. Mungu wa furahi vile unazunguka. Mungu si wa mateso. Psalms 119 verse 68. Mungu ni mwema na anatenda mema. Siri ni kujua murutera wa gai wa wera. Murutera wa gai wa wera hana atia. The enemy, the enemy is challenging you. He's challenging your mortal body. He's waging war. He's an opposer. He's not gonna give you. He's not gonna show you anything will work out. We know we are not going to expect him to do all to encourage us every day. He's, he, Anapanga vita tu diyo wachilie. Ukue hata hiyo second Peter ati niliponywa na mijeredi. Yes, waiko. Yeah, that's what he want you to. He want you to be empty. He want you to start talking death. I'm gonna, sijui kama nita, sijui kama hapa nita waito boa. Hapa sidhani nita waito boa hapa. Hapa sidhani nita manage. Hapa sidhani, una, 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 una abia believer. Lakini neno li nasema, ana kwa abia we. Siyati, siyati nakata. Believers. Where there is word, there is performance. As long as the word is there, performance is all. As long as the word is there, performance is there. If there is no word, there is no performance. God is only committed to his word. God is watching his word to perform it. The enemy wages battle. He wages battle. He wages battle in the morning. Ana kuonyesha hii hali. Hii hali si hii hali. Unajua there is a time pastor I went through things. I went through things. I was looking I was looking at the book of Corinth Corinthians. The Bible says, Oh God, my Lord Jehovah, my Lord Jehovah. Say to Siachilie Neno. Usikae bila neno. Usionge kifo. Usionge yo hali. Yo hali ni uongo. Yo hali ni uongo. Yo vimbe ni uongo. Ulipona yo ndu kwele. Oh God, oh God, my Lord, my Jesus. My Savior, my King, my King, my King. Una wakati nilipitia magumu 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 nikapitia magumu mpaka nikajiuliza mwadhani your word tells me first corinthians 10 verses 13 there has no temptation that has taken you but such as common to man but god is faithful he will not suffer you 
beyond what you can bear na ikizidi anakutengenezea mlango wa kutoroka so the, the enemy pushed harder pushed harder mambo ikakuwa ngumu mambo ikakuwa ngumu i was feeling like oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god but the holy spirit was telling me that's the time pastor you remember we were in prayers that's the time the holy spirit told me if the word is there performance is there i am watching i'm watching over my word to perform it the challenges that you are going through every day there was an opposer is not going to encourage you you are going through challenges so that you lose the word you be without the word you just stay without the word when you stay without the word when you are without the word then there is no performance you are not like in hope eh? I, I, i'm in hope i'm in hope mungu hajai kuachilia mtakatifu it's not the, like, the way you want it it's the the principles of god you will not draw god out of his principles it's not the way you think that gaidaria tiganeria mudu mudhigu do you yourself know that you are righteous are you settled with that truth are you grounded with that truth colossians 1:23 be firm be immovable be settled unshakable you know holding on to the word of faith that that word may bring performance you want performance let the word be there you want performance let the word be there there cannot be there can't be no performance if holding holding uh, holding on to, uh, i'm trying to get the scripture holding unto the word holding unto the word holding and to the world kama neno aliko hakuna performance god is governed you know there are systems in the kingdom of god if you hold to my teachings you are really my disciples huyu ni yesu anaambia 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 disciples eh eh as you hold huyu ni yesu mwenyewe ni yesu mwenyewe anaambia disciples wake if you hold to my teachings if you hold my you are really my disciples you are really you are really you are really expecting if you are holding on the word not the way you like things not the way you would want things to be let the word have the substance let your faith have evidence generate enough evidence for what you're waiting for for what you're trusting god for and no matter the shake ups no matter the the test no matter what you're feeling you know gonna lose the word don't release it don't be without the word don't be without the word let the word dwell in you richly let the word continue to grow tumesoma neno as the word grows it shall prevail when the word grows in you it will prevail Philippians 2 verse 16 Philippians 2 verse verse 16 as you hold firmly to the word of life and then i will be able to boost on the day of christ that i would i did not run or labor in vain a believer who is not holding on to the word will not manage to the last day yeah. so we are looking at the principles he performs his word you are without the word you are waiting for nothing no matter what you're going through no matter what you're seeing no matter no matter the temptations no matter the storms hold on to the word what you to one let us see something here pastor tutole look look verses 8 kwa nini shetani anawidana na wewe mpaka uluzi neno unakuja kanisani kama hakuna neno hakuna performance the enemy knows that ndio maana anawidana na wewe mpaka ukae bila neno unaongea tu maneno matupu Mungu akaabia Jeremiah Jeremiah 1 verses 12 I'm watching over my word to perform it where the word of the Lord is performance is on the way where the word of the Lord is performance is on the way if the word is there let it grow let it continue to grow let it continue to grow hold fast on to the word of life let it grow let it grow let it grow don't change your confession don't look to the right or to the left hold on to your faith unwavering the bible says unwavering dukagage dukagage dukasheje usemi waku if umeanza i was healed i was healed i was healed pengine ulikuwa unaumwa na mkono hii hii ingine imeanza kuongezea my weight thank you lord thank you lord for your healing is more than my is bigger is available is more than i can handle you know holding fast if the word remains a day will come it shall be 
It doesn't matter what you're trusting God for. God is, God is, God works. There are principles that governs the operations and workings of God. One of it is his word. Where the word is God is. Where the word is performance is on the way. Tuangalilie Pastor Luke 8. Nipatie Luke 8. Unaona hapa ni mutu wa meenda kanisa. Imezi mama? Hmm? Nitole na Bible yangu. Uyu ni mtu ameenda kanisani pasta. Akapewa neno. Akalifulahia. Akatoka. Akisema kukuma faya limuno. Hi kuma faya limuno. Kuma kwega. Arafu anapifika nyumbani kama ni mama anapigwa kofi. Anasema ni adiori ya godhi ya gasa. Sijui kuna edagaje. Sijui kuna edagaje. Mimi sijui. Na ameambiwa na pasta. Your faith which is more precious than gold. Will you be tested? And then the woman was like. Hallelujah. And then I can do even after that test, God will come through. No temptation has overtaken you except that which is common to man. You know, there are days I was saying I passed through things until I would ask God. Several times I would ask God, God, ata yini common. And then of course the word the word must prevail. You know, it's not the way you're feeling. I'm a vile unaitaka. Ni vile neno linasema. It's common. Yes, what you're going through is common, very common. Very, it's, 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 it's not going to be above the word. Everything was created by word and by, by all things are subject to the word that created it. We are finishing with this one. We are finishing with this one. Hapa ni mtu pasta amenda kanisani. Pasta akahubiri. Pasta is preaching. Pasta is sweating. We kuna great multitude. Wanasimama. Mwingine wako ilizile za hallelujah. Mwingine hata nachukua kiti. Mwingine hata anatokea pale mbele anawekelea ka kitu pale anasema na connect mm, mm. because of the heat but the opposer is following anataka ku snatch dio baki empty if you are empty there's no problem the enemy knows no performance the lord is watching over his word to perform it wacha tuangalie the 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 the, the parable apa parable of the sower uh, Luke 8 verses 4 just stay there to show me he, tunatoka tunatoka na he. then his disciples uh, okay and when a great multitude had gathered and they had come to him from every city he spoke by a parable a sower went out to sow his seed as he sowed some fell by the wayside and it was trampled down and the birds of the air devoured it some fell on the rock and as soon as it, as it sprang up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang with it and choked it. But others fell on good ground, sprang up and yielded a crop a hundredfold. When he said these things, he cried, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. The Bible continues to say, uh, Luke 8 verses 9. Then his disciples asked him, saying, What does this parable mean? Verses 10. To you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to the rest it is given in parables, that seeing that you may not see and hearing, thou may not understand. Verses 11. To Naongalia, Jeremiah 1 verses 12. God is watching over his word to perform it. If the word is there, Performance is there. And Luke 8, verses 11, Philippians 2, verses 16, holding fast onto the word of life. As long as utakatalia kwa neno, ata usukumwe pastor, we sukumwe ukisema, by the steps of Jesus, I was healed. By this, you, usually mimi uwa nasema, this is what I will say to my last day. You know the word of God doesn't change. That the situation is so big, it doesn't mean that now the word has changed. Apana, Ata kama uliumwa, umeumwa, exercise eternal life in you. Exercise eternal life. Exercise eternal life. Exercise it. Just, just, just say it. I said trials are your university. Try on your university yako ya kujua Bible. In your comfort, you may never know the word well. Wacha utumie hiyo moto yako kujua maandiko mbaka upate excess. Let the word grow. When the word grow, it will prevail in that situation of yours. If it has not yet prevailed, haijakuwa. You know, God is, God is in his, is in his principles. See at mungu anafanya, see at vile unaitaka, ni vile amesema. When the word grows, it will prevail. That is Acts, what pastor? 
Acts 19.20. If the word grows, it will prevail. Usisikize ya dui yama ukwe frustrated because things are not working. What, what is not working? Oppose the opposer also and, and, and address it. Address it. Mwambie, the, the word is growing. Yes. Wait until the word grows. It will prevail. It is written. And the word grew in the city of Ephesus and prevailed. You know, ukiangalia Paul, wewe unakonfiansi kumoja unagive up. Paul alikuwa anaubiri door to door pastor. Door to door for two years. Two years. Wakati two years ziliisha. Kigo gege shamania. Gege ya kia muaki. Shia maike rigeka. Paka wachawi wakachoma vitabu zao. Walisalimisha. Walijisalimisha wenyewe. Wakasema with all our magic. Fukurukudu sebiga ya so giga gaga. Sudila gash. Vrediga. With all our magic arts. With all our arts. Na mafukuma ya mawichi craft ni tuwa na hii. Yeke nege ya kila ifuku rere. Now, woo, they burnt their books. I, I wish said Karori would post that. I've ever taught you that one. They burnt their books and wakajisalimisha kwa hii super book. Hii ni super book. Watch out. They burnt their books and they took the super book. Wali, kiwoge ya kuride, Paul, Paul haku choka. Meri kuwa naida door to door. For two years, in the city of Ephesus. U, in that city of Ephesus, kulikuwa na goddess. Ugundi kulikuwa na goddess. Hmm? Goddess. Yeah. Goddess alikuwa na ito Athena. Alikuwa na ito Athena. Diana. Diana. Kulikuwa, eh, kulikuwa na iyo god, ilikuwa ina ito Diana. Paulo haku enda kuambia ati hii ni ya idol. Toheni, ngoheni, yama ni ichome na moto kutoka. He didn't work that way. Ali embark on the word. Two years. Door to door. Word, 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 word. Every morning, every day, every morning, every day, every morning, every day, every morning, every day for two years. For how long have you spoken the word over that situation and now you feel like you're giving up? Okere mukuru we kwe. You're not old. Wewe na itano life do kuraga. Ure itawe mukuru ni do rarura. What are you looking at? Ona miaka iti ogege shiara muana. Ito toge shiara ito. Iyo nitu meokolewa tuonyeshane excellences of God. Tika kugado kagi ya muana. Kuna mutu alindi ya bia pasta. Himi nirigoje ya mungu. Wakati nirifikisha forte years ni kaona. Garigi ya kukoro itari na bego. So mi ni kabakslide. My God. Good Lord, hold on to the word of life. Gaiti muaganu. God is not unjust. Gaiti muaganu. Do give me your That is the word of God in the book of Hebrews. But gaitu akwaga kihoto. Gaiti muaganu. God is not unjust. Eh? Hebrews. Hebrews sixteen. Feed. What are you doing here? You can't type the Bible. Why did you take it? I believe in that to come. I believe in that to come. I can see you say it. I'm not seeing the word. Hebrews 16. God is not unjust. Unate idhia gai. Unende kusaidia mungu kutafta mtoto. Kwani, kwani umeangalia wapi, pastor? Umeangalia wapi ukasema wewe ni mze. Ni keke warora. Eternal life has no age in you. Eternal life has no age in you. Tasa uja kutana na Christ asha kuza. Kuza, kuza. Ushiaro chere tuone gai ugo mwene we, we we product ya ushiaro Do we know where we have come Do we know what is eternity Do we know Eternity is in the hearts of men now Eternity is in the hearts of men God has given it to the Lord Most high Yes you are the Lord Somebody said Nimegojea mungu, nimegojea mungu 40 years. Nidona neika na munu wagegoka. Itumerudi. We are back. Mary, tumerudi. We are back. Nidona mwadha nini ikara munu wagegoka. So, nini kafikiria ni edage, nitafute mtoto, diyo nisimalizie bila bego. Don't gauge your life in the outside. If it is God that you are waiting for, gaiti mwaga nu hold fast. Hold fast into the word of faith. Shikilia kile uliamua, kile uliona, gaiti muaganu. Gwambu yoka doge shaya. You know neno linasema yesu wakapea na hii mfano. Tunamalizia na hii. Luke chapter 8. Neno linasema ya kwamba. Neno linasema ya kwamba. Now the parable is this. 
The seed is the word of God. The seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are the ones who hear. Then the devil comes and take away the word out of their hearts. Hegur maza gofagariya Lest they should believe and be saved. If there is no word, there is no saving. I'm watching over my word to perform it. You, if the word is still there, performance is coming. I'm encouraging somebody. This is your encouragement tonight. Hold on to the word of faith. As long as the word is there, as long as the word is there, performance must happen because we can learn this from this trick of the devil. Mi wana to me a trick za shetani ku advance kwa kingdom. Na angalia kwa nini anawidana na neno. Then what is crucial? If the devil knows that, if the enemy knows this, why are you losing the word? Anajua bila neno hakuna kitu utapata. Hakuwa kwa hope yenye haiada. Luke 8 verses 12. Yesu akaelezea wale walianguka are mago irero nyajaraine ni are maiguaga kiugo goma agoka agakeia nigetha matiga corona kiogoroine nigetha matika honoke agikoro kiugo gitireho salvation ni dereho but as long as the word remains in you if my words abide in you let my word abide in you as long as the word is there I guarantee you it's not like I'm promising you it's what God has said if it's God who has said it he will do it it's no discussion why is there a land, land God with this look at what is it after umetoka kanisani unasikia neno mambo ya kuduga moyo wako inakuja mwili wako unaumia unaambiwa maneno ambayo hayadamani na ile pasta alikwambia ulikuwa umetoka kanisani ukisema na mijeredi ya Yesu nilipona ukafika nyumbani ukasikia hata kitada huwezi kulala ukaaguka kwa flo ulipofika kwa flo ukabadilisha usemi wako don't change your confession say it and repeat it Hebrews 10 verses 23 Don't throw away your confidence it will be rewarded. It don't throw away your profession. Keep claiming, keep speaking. As long as the word is there, performance is there. God is known by what he did and what he is still doing. He told Jeremiah, what can you see? Jeremiah said, I am seeing an almond tree. And God tells Jeremiah, you have seen well, for I am watching over my word to perform it. To this end, God gave a parable in Luke 8. Akasema kuna watu ambao abao begu inaanguka kwa wayside. Akasema hawa ni wale watu ambao shetani anakujaga anaiba neno. Ilo kuna mtu aliniuliza kwa kuna mtu aliniuliza na leo sijui yako wapi blessings anaitwa blessings blessings loved. Somebody to call her blessings loved although tunamalizia blessings loved aliniuliza kwani shetani anaweza kuiba neno. No. He's not able to steal the word. I will tell you, I will show you who is the word. What is Jesus? He can't. What he does is that he shocks your faith. He shocks your faith. And a shake iman yako so that it can shake you lose the word. So you are without the word. But he can't steal. He, he shakes. Kutakuja mambo ya kushake moyo wako ndio ukae bila neno. Verses um ukikaa bila neno sasa how you are not committing the integrity of god in that situation see if you, if you don't have the word you're not committing you're not committing commit you're not committing ukaruwa gai ukarudi digo uigerere kiwa gai uri utagea garara kiugoge yake you you're not committing uigerere kiwa gai then the wage kiroke when you you are without the word but when you are with when you are with the word when you are with the, with the word The Bible says in the book of Psalms 103 gaini ari ari kama dika geredia kiugoge yake as long as neno liko malaika hawezi cheza mbali malaika hawezi cheza mbali wanachezanga tu area za neno mahali kuna neno kuna kuanga na, na, na nini malaika wana, wana, wanaenda tu wanapitia pitia hapo up and down up and down mahali kuna neno utaona u, 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 ukitaka kusikia malaika 
e buku wana neno Psalms 103 verses 20 mtu atuwekee Psalms 103 verses 20 angels are set for every word ukitaka ku, ku, ku activate ministry ya angels e buku, you know it's not the way we think god it's the way he is in his word mungu ashajifunua kwa hili neno lake tunamstudy tu vile amesema niekee wano 3 verses 20 Commit faithfulness to God by having that word what he has said kuwa nayo hmm? atalia pale hata ukiwa kwa moto huko wewe sema ni ile na itano life dig here commit the integrity of God hilo neno umeshikilia na ukuwe na scripture na ujue hiyo neno unashikilia it will work Psalms 103 verses 20 bless the Lord you his angels who excel in strength who do his word He ding the voice of his word. Arai kama yetu era wagwe ka kiwa na the version here bless the lord ye his angels that excel in strength that do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of the word they activate the ministry of angels let angels work hmm? kuna watu malaika wao hata hawako active umepewa malaika lakini hata hana kazi kwa sababu malaika wanafanya wanafanyaga na na na, na word you know they, they work by the word By the angels work by the word. They work by they hear the word. They know the word. See is my story zako. They know the word. They know the word. Bless the Lord you his angels that excel in strength that do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of the Lord. Go shai mwadani yes meri wajiro. Go shai mwadani inywe araika ake. Jaba jaba ire hinya. Jaba ire hinya. O inywe mwadhe kagera madani make. Go shai mwadani inywe araika ake. Araika ake jaba ire hinya o inywe mwadheka gera madha ni make na mudhika gereria oria aroiga araika gai makometa gone kiugo kia gai haria kiugo kia gai kire kwaje kiugo kia gai ke ingihana wingi maikara goguo maikara these are things i've had on there are times i feel a lot of heat and especially when I'm, and this is one thing that made me even to love the word you want to fit, to visit heaven sometimes una scare real sweetness ya binguni kana neno we we have any beings uzisikie tu utazisikia mahali kuna neno malaika wako hivi wako zile za malaika ukisema neno wa hawachezi mbali hizi ni siri nakupatia if you want to know secret za mungu una research na dealing zingine shetani pia anaweza tumika kufanya umjue mungu because ukitoka kanisani he will try every means nenda sasa yule unanisikiliza anajaribu kila binu usikae na hilo neno for long As soon as you hear it it's gone so you are empty and then you're saying I'm still waiting for God and you don't have it and God performs his word God only performs his word activate the ministry of angels by having the word have the word in be full of the word have the word richly Luke 8 Luke 8 verses 12 I repeat Those by the wayside are the ones who hear then the devil comes and takes away the word out of their hearts lest they should believe and be saved if you have the word salvation is on the way if you have the word performance is on the way the minute you lose the word you are waiting for nothing verse that in but the ones on the rock are those who when they hear they receive the word with joy and these are these have no root Ah, now hawana mizizi they believe for a while Woo-hoo. yeah 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 koso fegia sheriga sheriga hemigiriga suguru gushila gas efa gas mungu na neno lake ukitaka kupata the big secret agalia vile shetani anavidana na neno usikue na alo he will shake you he will attack your faith he will make you to question those things that pastor was telling you he will make you to question what you were reading hata yeah. by the time unasoma neno anakuambia si lako mm. have you experienced that pastor yes. you're not able to be personal with the word mm unadi kudhomoka igwa gake unige ya pastor fulani it can't be yours ke unacho ne power ucho ne elija uyo ne jeremiah and igea kukire nako kiki ile ukitaka kuseto ingine unaambiwa hiyo ni ya, ya biguni ati utakula mema nchi unaambiwa hiyo ni millennium mm, you not settling hakuna ile ni yako mm, we are changed into him shetani anakuambia ni yesu akirudi sio sahi you not able to settle uraga akakwa gaga you have nothing mm, and you know the bible says that I, 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 uh, yeah, 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 yeah. the word will build you and deliver inheritance the word will build you 
and deliver inheritance. Did you come and ask 10, 20, no, 32. Mm. Somebody to post for us. Here you my father. My father, my father. Tuangalili Acts 20. Acts 20. Do you? To post here hapo. The word will build you and deliver an inheritance. It is the word that will deliver that which you are waiting for. What do you want? The word will deliver. Acts 19. The word grew and prevailed. Acts 19. 20. Now, by the end of this lesson, you should be speaking. Unafakua una uz scripture, uz, uz, utoke, utoke scripture. Acts 19, 20. Umana narudia, rudia. Acts 19, 20. The word grew and prevailed. The word grew and prevailed. The word grew and prevailed. Acts 20, 32. The word will build you and deliver an inheritance. If the inheritance has not yet come, watch a haraka. Endelea kujegwa na neno. Mungu wachelewi. Sisi atu, atutembei na saa ya dunia. Tukona saa ya binguni. Let the word build you. If you are truly built, it is given that the inheritance must come. Oni mwadhani ugete. Ndiyo do oshi oro wa mwadhani ugozi uge kona ga na ukegea ga. Uwadhi uge kona ga. No kegeaga na hinya. So mightly grew the word of God and prevailed. Yeah, kura no ge go prevail. I go get it prevail it get the kira kura. Still hold on to the word. Philippians 2.16. Still hold on it. And is able to build and deliver an inheritance. The word will build you and give you that which you want. Stay in the ministry of the word. Be the ministry of the word. Hallelujah. Be the ministry of the word. So the Bible says. Uh, these are 13. Kwa nije tani ya nawidana na wea chukue neno. He knows. Kama hakuna neno, hakuna performance. But the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear, receive the word with joy. And these have no root. Who believe for a while. And in time of temptation, fall away. They lose the word. They forget. They forget what God has, has said. They are like, Modo no modo. Modo ni yonagwa ne inya. Modo ni akinya gerira kuigua kuhoteka. Modo ni igua katage zira. Modo ni igua atage kuwa. You know, that time now you become kano. You are becoming kano. You are losing the word. You are losing the word. There is no performance. There is no salvation. There is no deliverance. There is no inheritance. If only you remain in the word. Performance is guaranteed. If only you remain with the word, performance must happen. Verses 14. Now the ones that fell among those are those who, when they have heard, gone out and are choked with cares, riches, and pleasures of life, and bring no fruit to maturity. So they have lost the word. Verses 15. But the ones that fell on the good ground are those who, having heard the word with a noble and a good heart, keep it. Pastor say, keep it. Mr. James say, keep it. Saints here, can you type keep it? Keep it. Can you keep the word? I'm waiting. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Things to, to, to try you. What will be tested squarely? What will be tested squarely? By the way, the minute you get the word, the minute you have the word, the minute you hear the word, test is on the way. It's after that. Keep it. Yes, good. You have to intentionally katalia. You have to keep it. Lezima ukatai na hiyo neno. Lezima ukatalie hilo neno. Si ati unaiweka sababu hakuna storms zinataka kuichukua. Ziko, unasukumwa here and there. You are being pushed. You are being pushed hard. Unasukumwa, unasukumwa. Unasukumwa ndiyo uiachilie. Unasukumwa ndiyo we lose. Keep the word. Keep it. Keep the word. Keep it. You are not keeping it because trials are not there. Keep it. By the way, the time you hear, yes, Paul, Yekuba, at least I've seen you in. Sikuwa ni bekuwanda. Type keep it. Nijwe ni nani ya koapa. Keep it. The minute, the minute you get the word, test is coming. You'll be squarely tested. Test doesn't come. Test, test the genuineness of faith. Test is meant to test the genuineness of faith. 
ukiwa kanisani ulisema haleluya ulisema praise the lord uliruka mpaka kwa mabati aya twende class twende examination room will you still say the same after the exam will you still say the same in the exam room eh yeah, pastor umeambiwa wewe uko na eternal life twende exam room umeamini exam room lazima this is how kingdom operate hii kingdom ina operate hivi antony thank you keep it yeah Tell your neighbor tuko kanisa hii ni kanisa tell your neighbor keep it keep the word keep it keep the word you know i'm repeating i'm repeating look 8 na wewe ujaona hii broadcast yote kutoka mwanzo tafadhali learners are great people rudia pale mwanzo usome rom look look 8 verses 15 but the ones that fell on the good ground are those who having the word having had the word with a noble and a good heart keep it please type for me your version mama can you yes good i can see you keep it and bear fruit with patience yeah ikarana kiwokeu na wetereri ogeshiadithie no kirereria tiga kuruga ruga gititerete mm hakijatera the word is still at work god is watching upon it if the word is there macho ya mungu iko hapo as long as neno iko do you want to know where the eyes of the lord are they are not to and fro they are there i'm watching over my word i'm watching over my word so you being the carrier of the word the eyes of the lord are upon you jeremiah 1:12 i'm watching over my word are you the one having it are you the heart having the word Are you the heart having the word God is watching over his word to perform it as long as it is there ukienda kanisani unapokea neno kwa furaha ukitoka kanisani you be tested sometimes test of faith will come to test whether that word you've received you ulipokea na moyo mzuri kama ulipokea kwa moyo mzuri basi neno linasema keep it if you're not keeping it because pastor kuna mvutano ebu ebu leta mkono kuna tago of war kuna vutwa you know kuna vutwa kuna vutwa kuna vitu hata zilikuwa zina work a morning before wede kanisa ukirudi unapata zimeharagana zimeharibika tu all of a sudden keep it keep it keep it Keep the word. You had it. It was not the voice of your pastor. Ama alisoma Biblia. Keep it. Keep the word. Somebody tell your neighbor keep the word. Keep it. Keep it. Itazama zawacha haraka. Unajua umekuwa wa maharaka mpaka sasa unataka kuharakisha Mungu. Na hiyo ndeta yako kano. Umekuwa wa maharaka tu uwezi gojea neno linaletanga mazao with the patience because neno ni Mungu na of course you know gaida you ana da sheragero as the word is god the word behaves in the in the same manner character ya god iko na neno la, la, la god maana neno ni Mungu so character ya Mungu iko incorporated katika neno lake it will bear fruit with the patience James great i can see your version but he said here rather blessed are they that hear the word and keep it good <laughs> see that anointing the eyes of the lord are not to and fro is watching on mm, wait nataka nataka i don't want this get 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 i want look 1128 i want look 1128 when you receive the word keep it and you're not keeping it maana ni kuzuri kwanza kunaweza kuwa kumoto niulize mimi niko na shuhuda za kuja saturday nikupe some uh, some testimonies about my life i'll give you testimony kadha saturday tukutane hapa saa tatu. when you receive the word keep it when you receive the word keep it you will not keep it because things are working you will keep it because it's the only truth that there is hiyo ingine ina manipulate kujibadilisha badilisha in a sense joto ya neno tu just don't lose the word keep it and the word will work squarely for you then the bible says i've told you unajua kutojua mungu ni vibaya there are people who usually call me and na vida si nilikuwa kanisani kwani kuna eda gaje nikieda kanisa mzee ananipiga nikieda kanisa naumwa na mkono keep the word let the word grow it will prevail 
be patient. I'm not like, I want you to be patient. It's written. Luke 8, verses 15. Keep it and it will bear fruit with the patience. Kujo kwa lakisha mungu. Izo biozaku ogo viogua. Na wei karari gai. Na rea magu kama mamu eterele no mako muona. Wale wakota hali kumgojea mungu wata muona tu. Wena haraka zako utateseka ujue hii kingdom ujue. Useme salvation, useme nini. Mungu wamesikia wegi na mna yako. Wenye hawataki kufuatilia principles za kingdom. Autatisha mungu hapa. Ni umujue, umusome, umujue. Alafu mutembe pamoja. Umusome, umujue. So I want to make some decrees according to the word of God. I want to make some decrees as we end tonight. I want to make some decrees for you and for us and for me because today is a new siku wa neno. So to na make decrees kwa neno na hakuna kutafsiri. This is what is happening because we have learned the word, we believe the word. Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Now we are finishing. Wale wamegojea Nao linasema wale watagojia mpaka mwisho. Wewe umegojia mpaka mwisho. This is for you. Those who will watch after this. This is also for you. Those who came and left. This is also for you. After the broadcast share. Don't miss on Saturday. We continue to learn. After these learnings you, you will just be like God. Because I'm teaching you God. This is God. Isaiah 54 verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Yes. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment. Thou shalt condemn. This is, the, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. Fear not. Psalms 27, Psalms 27, verses 1. The Lord is your light and your salvation. Whom shall we fear? The Lord is our strength. The Lord is the strength of our life. Of whom shall we be afraid? Verses 2. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foe, came upon, uh, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. I also declare Isaiah 7, verses 7, Bible says, Thus says the Lord God, it shall not stand. Whatever you have seen, whatever they have said, whatever you dreamt, those imaginations, let this be your consciousness that it will not stand. It will not come to pass. I've seen God fighting so many battles for me. I've seen so much manipulations in the realms of the spirit. Sometimes I would feel like it's too much. But the word grew and grew and prevailed. The word grew and prevailed. Trust God at his word. I end up with this year 8 verses 10. Take counsel together and it shall come to nothing. Speak the word and it shall not turn. For oh, God is with us. As we end tonight, say, God is with me. God is with me. Look, Isaiah 8, verses 10. God is with me. That is why your counsel will not prevail. Uh, it is in Romans 8. If God is for us, who can be against us? Romans 8. That one also, man abado wa ujaenda. What shall we say? What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? You know, don't interpret. This God speaking. Don't like it. Just take it. What shall we say to this? If God, and it is not if, because He is for us, who will be against us? We have been justified. We have been washed by the blood. God is with us. So talk here too. Kwa na usiku muema, ukisema God is with me. God is with me. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against the King? 